Many of you are familiar with our good friend here, Luscious Lori. Now, Luscious Lori's been through a lot. And she's been with us quite some time. I never once mentioned the fact. Lori has a sister. Let me introduce... Bodacious Barbara. She's always been in Lori's shadow. She feels stupid. You know, Lori's kind of a scholar. She's, she's up on all sorts of music. You know, I mean, let's face it. The old hits, they hit her. And she's pretty good at ballistics. Bodacious Barb. Why? She just wants her chance to shine. And I'm willing to give that to her. You see, what we're going to do today is take sweet, sweet Barbara here. And we're going to do some Wizard of Oz. We're going to give her some brains. Dew point? I'm not sure what the Dew Point company does, but they have given us a brain kit for our good, good, bodacious Barb. Now this is the MS-100, which I think stands for Massive Smarts 100. Because if you're going to have a number of something, it might as well be 100, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to insert the Massive Smarts 100 into bodacious Barb so that she can finally compete with her more successful sister. I don't claim to be a surgeon, but I have shot gophers, so I think I'm probably good enough. Obviously, for any sort of brain surgery, you want to make sure your workstation is clean and sterilized. <laughs> Done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our good bodacious Barb here, and we're going to enter her cranium space using a very special head drill. Barbara is understandably a little nervous about this procedure and what I've agreed to do is uh, knock her out. Perfect. You know how they talk about uh, doctors, right? Patients are all drugged up, getting themselves a little something something. Want to see some? Look! Here's Barbara, topless, huh? Get it? Head? Yeah, never mind. Hold still, Barb. Little Barb chunks coming up. Perfect. I'm a master surgeon. I don't know why anybody doubts my skills. We're going to insert the Massive Smarts 100. Here we go, girl. I've seen the movies. you got to be conscious. You tell me if this tangles. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. you got to drill a bigger hole in your head. I don't want you to think less of me here. You should know that when conducting brain surgery, I drill the proper size holes in your head like a lot. Like almost half the time. That's pretty good. There we go. I just got this funny feeling that the Massive Smarts 100 is really something you probably shouldn't be cramming into a hole with your bare fingers. I'm not obviously worried about it in any way, I understand. I just don't want to damage the device and lose a hand. Oh! Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that fits in there. So very, very nice. Yes. Now, she's got a bit of a hole, right? But I got a plan. Stick. Yeah. I think that if a doctor had the ability to stick a stick in your head, they would. So that's what I'm going to do. Go! <laughs> Look at that! Look at that craftsmanship. Huh? I want you to know I'm available for you and your loved ones, should you ever need 
a massive Smarts 100 inserted gently and professionally into the back of your head and plugged with a stick. California blonde. <gasps> Kidnap victim. California blonde. Kidnap victim. Now that this is done, we need to turn the massive Smart 100 on with a gentle application of 9 volts to the cortex. Cord text. Huh? This is a punny one. Post-operation care is one of the things, tragically, that is most neglected in this country. And so I want to make sure that Bodacious Barb has the best no money can offer. And I have the medically approved safety chains down around the board I screwed her head to. That's the way it would be done in, like, a hospital. Here we go. face. Those eyes open to a brand new world. A world of wonder and exploration. And the plug that have blocked the hole is gone. And the wires that have attached thy new brain. And the wires that attach thy new brain are kind of stuck in there. Her head's warm. I'm sure that's all the smarts, all the intelligence. We have jump-started something beautiful. We have jump-started Bodacious Barb. <laughs>